Hi, I'm Josh from Apt. Here is the Apple Airport Extreme Base Station. Uh, same size and shape as an Apple Time Capsule, same setup. So we're going to set one up right now. And just to point out a few, a few things. First of all, on the back of your device, you've got a few gigabit Ethernet ports. And that's where you're going to connect your computer that's hardwired, your network printer that's hardwired, your network hard drive that's hardwired. Beneath that, you've got a USB 2.0 port. You could also plug in like a hard drive or a printer that's not wireless. Plug in your modem to the bottom Ethernet connection. And then the last thing you should do is plug the power in. After you have made all those connections, then you plug the power in. Now you are ready to rock and roll. You could use an, a computer, a Windows computer that you've installed the airport utility software on, or you could use a Mac that already has airport utility installed. But we're going to use an iOS device today. We're just going to pick up our iPhone or iPod or iPad and configure this whole network just using an iOS device. Here's how it works. All right, so here I have my iPod Touch. It could be an iPhone, it could be an iPad. All right, we're just using an iOS device to set up our Airport Extreme base station, which, as we see this blinking amber light, means that it needs some help. Something's not set up, something's wrong. You might see this in the future after you set it up, and things are working great. But maybe it needs a firmware update, and it's going to keep blinking until you fix it. So that's what a blinking amber light looks like. If it's a solid amber, that just basically means it's powering up, and our goal is solid green. So here we go. I'm going to open up settings, and I'm going to go to my Wi-Fi. Now, on this screen only, it's as simple as that. It sees the Airport Extreme. Now, I'm going to take a step back and just tell you, if you go to the App Store, you could download the actual Airport Utility software app for your iOS device and set it up there. I'm just trying to show you the absolute easiest way to do it. So, it tells me inside this settings, set up new airport base station. So I select it, and now it's going to connect to it. There are some delays in this process, and if you're going through the process and you get an error message, uh, and maybe we'll see that today, maybe we won't. But I've done this many times, and in some scenarios, in some houses, there might be interference, there might be issues, and what happens is it'll say it failed, and you got to just try it again. So here we are, and we have options to create a new network. So if this is going to be your primary wireless router in your home, that's what you're going to choose. For other options, we'll get there in a second. Let's say I'm going to say it's a new network. So here I would enter my network name, also known as my... SSID and I'm going to say home. Okay. Now the device's name. Give it a name. It'll come up in the future software that you pull up called Airport Utility. It'll show that's the name. Create a password for it. So those are the, the very quick options one has to go ahead and create a new network. And I'm going to just go to other options and next to show you. I have the option of adding this to an existing network or replace a device. So with adding it to an existing network, you could uh, basically wire two airport extremes together, in which case one, this one that's wired to it would have to be in bridge mode. But this is getting a little bit more complex for the basic user that just wants to create that new home network. And primarily that's what most of us do, is we use the airport extreme base stations or time capsules as our primary router. So I'm going to call my network name home. A lot of people put their names. A lot of people put their phone numbers or any information about them. And I would say that's a bad idea. People outside your house are going to see it. It's not public, but, I mean, it's going to identify that it's your network. So try to use something ambiguous that people don't, you know, they can't point a finger that it's yours. All right, so I'm going to create a password. And it's not long enough, huh? Eight characters long, okay. Now you all know my secret password. Got the green check marks, moving on. Let's save my password on my iOS device. So now it's going to look for the network that's temporarily being broadcasted from my router. It's going to connect to it. Okay, here's one thing I can't show you very well. I have a modem, but I'm not plugging it in for this demo because it's not a functional modem. But in your home, you have the modem from your provider, and you're going to run a Cat5 cable to the back of your Airport Extreme Base Station. On the back of your Airport Extreme Base Station, you've got three Ethernets on top. We don't want to go there. We want to go at the bottom one. The bottom one has a circle above it, 
The top three have little arrows pointing left and right. These are for plugging in other equipment, like a computer that needs internet or your uh, network stuff. This one is from the modem. So you're going to plug your modem into that one. It's telling us to do that. It, you would have already have done that before you got here. I just don't have it plugged in. So I'm going to hit next. And I'm going to continue anyway because I, I'm not doing those settings. You probably will not see that screen. All right, so for diagnostics and usage, this is a method of helping Apple. Choose whatever you want. It doesn't matter. And now it's going to go ahead and change the signal to home instead of the generic airport name and rebroadcast the home network. And let's see what happens. Again, our goal is for a solid green. Now, I see that it switched to solid amber. That means that during the programming, it is now rebooted, and now it's blinking amber. So that means that it's done rebooting. And usually it jumps to green next unless you have problems. In my demo, I don't have an internet connection plugged into my mode, my router. So my Airport Extreme should have a, a blinking amber. It could switch to green because I said to skip it, but here it comes. And it says home is now available, and I am now on the home network. So I have con completed configuring my wireless router. Yours is green now because your modem's good. I don't have a modem plugged in, so I'm still showing an error message with my network, but it's still working. All right, so I still have a, a, a blinking amber light, and that's, like I said, because I don't have a modem plugged in, so I don't have any internet. Let's go into Airport Utility. Airport Utility says I don't have internet. Hopefully, you'd have a green light if you came here. And I'm going to tap on my Apple Airport Extreme Base Station, and I have status messages. So I have no internet, I have no DSN, DNS servers, and Ethernet unplugged. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and check Ignore This Issue. Once I tap Ignore This Issue in this example, it's going to actually power down and come back on. So it went to Solid Amber, and that's because we're basically rebooting. Solid Amber usually hangs for less than 60 seconds, but it is a significant delay when these reboot. So after it reboots, I should come back automatically. I noticed that my device has no Wi-Fi anymore, so I have, I have yet to connect to my Airport Extreme base station. But that should happen any second now. Once my Wi-Fi logo pops back up, or maybe even before that, I'm going to populate with my information to go back in there, because I have to ignore one more problem. These are things that you shouldn't have to do, but know that Airport Utility is a great resource for you. You can always come here and see what's going on. I got my Wi-Fi logo, and it came back. So once again, I have got one more message, no DNS. Again, that's because I have no modem. And when I go ahead and say, let's ignore that, guess what happens? It's going solid amber. I lost my Wi-Fi. It's rebooting. Now, when it comes back, I want to see a green light, a solid green light. And that's what you should have with your Airport Extreme base stations in your home or if you have a time capsule. Another thing to reference, ooh, there's my green. But just another thing, it's always helpful to, to power down and turn back on an Airport Extreme base station. I think it really helps refresh its ability to, to log on to a clear channel. So a lot of us will unplug and replug in our, our Airport Extremes or use Airport uti uh, the utility software to just reboot it. So I've got a green. I'm good to go. You should have got here well before me because you have a modem plugged in. But if you didn't, um, you should always do this. Unplug your modem. Unplug your, your router. And this goes for anything. Unplug them both. Wait a minute. Plug in the modem first. Wait a minute for all the lights to come back and then plug in your router second, last, after you've already powered up your modem. That can help refresh your signal and get everything going. So right now, I still show that I don't have internet because I don't have a modem, but that's okay for this example. Now you guys know how you can set up your Airport Extreme base station just by going to your iOS devices settings and configuring it from right here. Very simple to do. We've got a lot of great how-tos on app.com and our YouTube channel. Check us out and love some feedback.